this is as real as it gets. Get up, get over here. Oh, oh, what? What? Open up the safe. I can't, I can't open, open it. up the safe. This is when the target shoots back. This is where force meets force. How many of you have ever been in a gunfight before? Yeah. I mean, you know, none of us. You know, we've never been in a damn gunfight before. Well, when you go through this, you get to experience what it's like to be in a gunfight. It is as close as you can get to the real thing. As close as you can get is even closer for people in the tri-state. Hey, get on the ground! Get on the ground! The training, rooted in the woods of the FOP camp in Vandenberg County, is the brainchild of former Evansville police officer and firearms instructor Guy Minnis. We were hard target firearms training was actually one of the first if I think we might have been the first but I'll just say we were one of the first civilian firearms trainers in the country to use some munition. As decorated <laughs> as he is colorful, Menace has steered dozens of students through real life scenarios. Like carjackings and home invasions. Using what is called simunition. It looks feels and sounds exactly like the real thing, providing a showdown between authenticity I want you guys to really, really, really be violent and intensity. But we'll see students' hands shaking like immediately after. It's just that adrenaline dump that they're getting. Did you shoot my son? Step back inside. Step Why back inside. Why did you shoot them? Step back That's inside. my son! Step you back are inside. the boss! When they go to the range and they learn how to shoot, that's really, really important stuff because they're learning how to shoot the gun. But they're learning how to shoot a gun on a static cardboard target that doesn't shoot back. You're dead! That doesn't move, that doesn't talk, that doesn't distract them. When they come here, they're put in a situation where they have to face a real, live human being who is armed and who is trying to get over on them. We are actually in scenarios that, that teach us how to react to different circumstances, and I wanted the first-hand experience of what it feels like to get shot and to shoot back. So we know we're doing a good job when we can put people into auditory exclusion and, and tunnel vision. And we did that several times today. Where are you at? Tunnel vision oh, and auditory here. exclusion, symptoms of the fight or flight response only come during high stress. Plainly put, this training is nothing but high stress. Something I found out firsthand when Menace put me through a fender bender gone wrong. Hey, it happens the best of us. I, what in the hell is that? Just for my protection. Jesus Christ, is that a, is that a real gun? It's a BB gun. Uh, okay. You're fine. If you can get a tail light lens for me, I can pay you for the tail light lens, and I'll put it in for you. How's that? I'm, I mean, that's why I pay insurance. I am not going back to jail. I'm, put uh, the gun hey, down. Put hey, the gun put down. BB go. God. Hey, you said it was a BB gun. You said, I'm not going back to jail. Showed the gun, pulled it out. Where'd the gun come from? Right above your crotch. Very good. And it was just pretty much the the, the handle and pretty much that's about it. You're, you much. actually are doing pretty good for a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was your first scenario and you, he's done pretty good about being accurate about what, what happened. Yeah. So what's it feel like to have somebody pull a gun on you? Uh, it, <laughs> scary to say the <laughs> least. I mean, uh, I definitely, I saw the, the tunnel vision. All I saw was his blue sweater. I don't ever remember seeing your face or uh, the mask or anything like that, but I do remember seeing the gun. Featuring intensity, authenticity, and a little bit of comedy, this training provides students with a feeling of staring down the wrong end of a loaded gun. Now they'll know what to do when the target shoots back.